um, a module on Blackboard. I would recommend the module that you're actually working on, but ultimately the students will get a link, so it doesn't really matter. Click down on Course Tools here, you can see the interactive drop-down menu. Blackboard Claret Ultra is the one we tick on. Now come up with this little like dark grey box, that's all good. What we're looking at here is to create a session. Now you can pre-schedule these, but I wouldn't worry too much. And you should title the session, so we're going to call this Test Session 1, Electric Slide. All right. Um, now ultimately you'll have to join the session, but don't worry about that yet. If we start to work our way down, we want to make sure that guest access is clicked and the guest role is set as participant. So that means anyone who gets this link can access as a participant. So I'm just going to copy that link now while I've got it, and you should do the same. Then we can set the start and end time of each session. If you don't want the session to end, then just click open session. We can always set it to repeat. So if we're doing this over multiple weeks, we can adjust it our class times um, straight away. That's really all we need to do. So I'm going to join the session now. Okay, so the session is loading up. That's me, Stephen Wright. Now, you'll get a lot of this, so you just click allow. Yes, we want to allow our microphones and our cameras to be used. That's okay. All right, it's taking its time. The world's slowest. There we go, great. So I'm now going to email that link. Now, do this. I would recommend you do this as an announcement about 15 minutes prior to the beginning of the session, but I'm going to email it to Kyra and Sue as they're in the room with me and get them to test this out. All right, so it's going to go through them now, and let's see once they join. All right, so once we're in, it's important that we share our audio and that we share our video. We just click allow for all those things. We'll come with a little bit of a test. There we go. Now, it's up to you if you want to do mood lighting or change your makeup, but I'm all fine. Okay, and what we can see here is Kara Tennant is joining. And if we open up, and Sue is joining, if we open up our Collaborate panel here, you can see on the bottom right-hand side, we will get a list of who the participants are. So we have three attendees. Now, this is a chat window Now um, that you can open up, and you can either... So it's important to click on this little speech bubble tab and it'll ask you to either talk to individual people or it'll ask you to talk to the whole group. Um, Kara and Sue, can you please activate your cameras? No. <laughs> okay, Sue, so, so, someone's just activated their microphone. So. This is the this important thing is that the students have to click these to um, start their session. Now, if we look on this side here, I've just clicked on the bottom, and you can see which students are available. Now, Kara has her microphone. Say hi, Kara. Hello. And she has her camera. Sue does not have her microphone and camera on. Yeah, but when you go to the bottom, so you still you still oh, have to click share. Still have to do it. Okay. There we go. Do you want to do your camera too? <laughs> Just give it five minutes. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So this is where if you can do... Actually, um, can you guys just mute me? Just turn your volumes down. Cool. It's. I just don't want to get some reverb. So when you... Um, when you do a tutorial, for example, or a main session, this is the kind of window you'll see. This is the window you'll see, and it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Now, if we look here, you can see this share content button on the bottom right is what we click. Now, these are the options that you have. For example, we have um, share whiteboards. Now, all participants can see what we're doing, and they can also draw on the whiteboard. Kara is as always very concerned that if someone writes something obscene. <laughs> Perfect hair, Kara, thank you. So what I would say is, if you want to clear it, just press that clear button there, and away you go. All right. To begin your session, you use on the top left-hand corner, you will use this um, drop-down menu here and start recording. 
Now it's important at the end of your session that you ref repeat that process and stop the recording. All right, so now I'm sharing the whiteboard, but actually what I want to do is share some files. So I can click stop sharing the whiteboard, and you can see the little stop button at the top there, and I'm going to share some files. So I'm going to add a file. Let's have a look. Um, all right, what have I got? All right. So I've got a PowerPoint. And this is what it'll look like. Are you looking at yourself in the camera? <laughs> All right, so you can see my file is just uploaded. I'm going to click share now, and you can um, select which slide um, we start sharing. So this is the view that the students will see, and away we go. So what I would say is that's the kind of simplest way to do it. Once you want to stop sharing, you just click stop sharing. Now, in the case of our first year classes where we have Ben, who's a student who, um, who is deaf, what I would say is have select a participant in the group and make them into a closed captioner. So in the case of Ben, it would be um, it would be his note taker. So I'm going to drop down here. Okay, so I can see the send a chat message to an individual person, make him moderator, make him a presenter. So for example, if you're a guest speaker in, we can make them a presenter. Um, and then I'm going to make Sue our closed captioner. I don't know, can you? So Sue says, closed captions are available for this session. Would you like to use them? Yes. So Sue said she's going to use captions. And here's Sue writing the captions. There we are. That's not what Kyra's saying, but... <laughs> Actually, Kyra's saying some pretty horrible stuff right now. It's very sexist. So I'm really glad that Sue's being nice. It's graceful. <laughs> so the other... <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyra. The other thing to, to note is that students, the easiest way for students to participate, so make sure the students all have their microphones on, but what we don't want is them all talking at once. So you can see both Sue and Kara have turned their microphones off for the time being. Um, but if a student wants to ask a question, they can raise their hand virtually. Thank you. So Sue's raised her hand and I say, hey Sue, what's your problem? Ask me a question. Answer the, answer ask me a question. Can I stop doing the closed caption now? Yes, Sue, you may. Yes, Sue, you may. So Thank I, you. I close that. Kara, you also had a question. Kara, I have a question. Um, I have a question. How do I um, chat in the chat room? Because ah, perfect. Okay. So if you want to chat with someone in the chat room, you go to the bottom right hand corner and you open your collaborate panel right. and you click oh, on the speech okay. bubble. And there's me. There you go. Kara says hello, collaborators. Sue, do you want to say do you want to say hi? Perfect. No. 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 As in, I clicked on my speech bubble. Yeah. Where oh, where I got chat at the top. Yep. And everybody fries before guys, as they say. Presenter. Oh, are you, are you searching for a collaborator to talk to? You should talk to everyone. So you might have two options when you open. Let's have a look. So this is what you might find when you open your chat. It says chat, and then it says find someone to chat with. And then underneath that, it'll say everyone. Um, and it might say moderators or participants. So if you click on the everyone chat, you'll get all of our chats. And then I've got to say something at the bottom. Yeah. Presenter. Hey! Ah, you're wonderful, Sue. 
Okay, so when we go to finish a chat, there are two ways. So for, for participants, the easiest way is them to click on their own status here in the middle of the screen. And they can, um, if you look at the head and shoulders in the middle of the screen there, they can click um, leave session. And for uh, moderators, what I would say is that we stop recording, click. Now the recordings should be available um, about six hours, Joe said, about six hours post-session, so that's something to look at. And at the very end, we click on that menu screen again and we leave session. Then we can rate it. Good, so it's important to rate. Oh, bloody hell, that was loud. Okay, um, perfect. Now I just need to figure out how to stop this. Oh, we're fantastic. That this is quite a contained environment. We 